yeah wonderful people viewers and subscribers and let me quickly start with um alien on yema alien on yema the ceo uh, peace you know a whole lot of things have happened in the past one week and uh, i just have to take the most important ones the one that have been bothering me say i know go feel let this one go because the man Alex Alien or Nyem or whatever really embarrassed himself. Not just himself but the entire Igbo nation. He ridiculed in the Igbo. In the video I saw where he was blabbing like a um, like um, beating beating puppy. Now, one puppy at Pecatalaro, and then we are at Pecatalaro or Nan Yosi on you. It's very unfortunate when I saw this video. I want you to have hope in your nation. Nigeria is all of us. The bigger Nigeria is the best thing ever that can happen to Nigeria. We don't need to bargainize this country. You don't know what you've got having this nation called Nigeria. Our diversity should be our strength and not our albatross. The diversity we have is the best thing that ever happened to this nation. Let us make it work. Let us not engage in playing games. Let us not engage in the minorization of ethnicities. Let us work as Nigerians. The Americans, America is the melting pot of all ethnicities in the world. You have people in America, Yoruba in America, outside America, Fulani in America, and uh, Anglo America from England, Russo America from Russia, all over the world. Yet, when they get this passport, they profess America. However, in my country, with all our diversity, the first thing we profess is our ethnicity, our people, our Yoruba, our Hausa. Can we stop this? This country can be better than it is. It is not the fault of government, it is not your fault. It is collective effort of all of us that can make it work, not just government alone. I want you to have hope in your nation. I want you to have hope. Do not lose hope. Do not feel that the worst has come to happen. We've passed through this day before. Let our diversity be our strength. And this country will remain great. God bless you. I hope God bless you. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. What on earth, that's my question, would prompt a very resourceful, a very brilliant because it takes a brilliant person to make such work that you already made for yourself to make such a man bring himself to this level you see i know that ndibo is being pushed treated like slaves but why must respected Igbo sons be embarrassing Igbo nation this way just to protect your business because of what they did to Ibeto. Maybe they have, you know, dwarg pin. They have, you know, punctured one or two places reminding you of what they have done to your brothers and you are fidgeting and you now came up to blab rubbish. That's if you don't have anything else to talk about, Mr. One Nigeria or Alien or Nyema, just keep your mouth shut. It is an embarrassment to yourself and that of Igbo nation. How many Yoruba people have come up to blab as you are doing? A Yoruba man owes a whole airport in the United Kingdom. He has not come out to blab this rubbish. Then go take them. They have not come out to blab, blab, blab this rubbish. But because you are afraid, you are fidgeted. You want one Nigeria where your aircraft will be flying up and down. Now let me ask you, these people that you are trying to please, because there is, there is no way you can tell me that you are not trying to please Bugari. For whatsoever reason or for the presidency whoever you want to please 
whether the caliph what i don't know your partners or whatever people you are trying to please but whoever you are trying to please i ask you on how many of the northern people are flying your your airline how many of them come a faga abokwa airpiece come here for jeba pata airways or how about they will go and enter saudi arabia air flight uh, airline no matter how you try to please them i'm not just talking to you including that one that even floated his own airline and called it united nigeria you are the only one that loved one nigeria more than your ancestors you see these are part of the reasons why i have future some of these things it looks like we are such a loser but we are not we are not we are only disappointed seeing you guys you know putting yourself in such a ridiculous position if your enemy no love you as much as we know making they afraid of you now but this one when it be say your enemy is not even afraid of you you are finished come out you think that will make you a wonderful person in their eyes you're making a very bloody mistake hi no i must tell you it's unfortunate that we should be bringing ourselves down whoever knows or whatever they call him let him not put his people who are his you know patronizers his passengers to boycott his airline because you know he may not he may not be in the position to be hearing the truth oh, but i believe you all watch this platform i am telling you what is in the coffin the buyer tamu begoli already that you are you 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 embarrass them you are trying to please who doesn't even like you our people are the ones flying your airlines keeping it afloat so stop Stop, stop blabbing. Stop, stop fidgeting, man. Stop fidgeting. When we look at when you are when, when you are kind, start fidgeting. What will be left of the rest of other people? Please, it's just an advice. So I'm not here to ridicule you or any of any one of you who have been doing well uh, from evil extraction. No, but I am here to, you know, knock some sense into us. If we know, as no no do bad rebema, oh yeah, kaiye jisa a a a a and that's I yeah sign I well well. We go open our eyes clear. Tell you no near ma, you disappoint everyone, and that is the truth. You can only hear it from this platform, and you can only hear it from the voice of the spirits, the voice of our ancestors. Retrace your steps before our people will start boycotting your airline. Signing out. Those of you who have watched, please thank you for watching this far. Subscribe, like, share, drop your comments. Let me have your opinion. And stay connected to the voice of the people, the voice of God, the voice of our ancestors. Still my name is Peters. Stay safe.